The other big one, the other big title fight, Pet Gija versus Anissa Mexin. And, you know, some backstory here. Mexin, probably the best female kickboxer of, of all time and still the current best kickboxer, uh, active kickboxer. Um, she had some drama with one. She's been out for a year. She signed to, I think, Aries FC. She was going to transition to MMA. And they're like, no, you're under contract. And she was like, release me from my contract. There was a bunch of drama there. I don't know what the real story is. I don't know what was the resolution. But here she is, you know, defending, you know, she's got the belt. Um, and Pedjija, was this a... Was this a uh, inaugural belt or interim they didn't say no, anything about todd, her right janet todd has the real belt i forgot about that i don't know where she's at either um uh, but interim belt uh mexican like i said phenomenal kickboxer pajija on the flip side is a muay thai fighter <laughs> um and yes she's been murking everybody she fights she's got a bunch of dudes on her record that she's beaten because they can't find more females <laughs> for her to fight they've signed her yeah. to one and everyone's like, here we go. Pajija is a monster, an absolute monster. But here she is getting her first title shot, and it's kickboxing, and it's against the women's goat kickboxer, like inarguably the best kickboxer of all time. And she goes out there and beats her. It was crazy. I, I picked Mexican in this one, but I was like, I don't know, because the layoff, the drama, that's who knows where her mindset's going to be. But it's kickboxing. She's the best. Pajija, it's her first kickboxing fight. She's young. I just don't see her beating her in kickboxing. And then she went out there and she's just rolling with all these punches and cracking her with this right hand. It was phenomenal. She looks so good. Yeah. The, it was crazy. Like how like Pajija was able to like make um, adjustments throughout the fight where mm. like in a, in a sport that she's not naturally like fighting. Whereas like Mexin just seemed to be fighting the same fight, the whole fight. Like she was at the same yeah, pace. The point. She didn't, she didn't change anything she was doing. She was doing the same thing. And granted, like, yeah, you're supposed to stick with your game plan, but like, you got to be able to adjust to what your opponent's doing. You, like, yeah, she kind of was at the same pace. It wasn't winning her the point she needed to win the rounds. Uh, like, I wasn't surprised when they called it out at all. Yeah, me neither. I thought I thought Mexican won the first round. Um, that was the only one I gave her. I gave her one in four. I think I need to rewatch it, but I think I gave her two rounds. Um, you know, her style is very much volume, volume, volume. And she's so good at landing combinations, you know, and finishing combinations with leg kicks and things like that. Very textbook, mechanically sound, perfect kickboxing. And Pajija just came in there. Pajija came in there. And look, I know her power is different. You know, her, her, she's up there with some of the biggest punchers in women's combat sports. Um, Blundwell says she was a ghost for so many Mexican strikes. Yeah, once she found the rhythm of, of Mexican's combos, she really she, was timing him well and just rolling under him, ducking, rolling, throwing the overhand off the roll. I mean, it was just very good performance. And like you said, it seemed like she was like getting more and more comfortable kickboxing as the fight progressed. Um, yeah. Which is she just ducked like, under like so many of those punches and ended up on her back like how many yeah. times? Yeah, yeah. I was waiting and for a suplex. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy to see. Um, you know, to see her do that against someone like Mexican, but like Anonymous says, says uh, I think Anissa was set up here. Uh, Mexican was sitting around for a year collecting rust and has to fight someone like Pachija on her first fight back. That was the thing, you know. I was I was talking to someone and shout out Cyrus, and uh, he's like, "Who do you have?" And I was like, "I don't even remember who I said because this is another one I kept going back and forth on because I was like, Pachija just hits so hard; she's such a killer." But Mexican is kickboxing, but. Mexican has been out for a year and a half and she's been having all these contract disputes. And like, that's, that's a ton of drama and like a ton of yeah. like, you know, who knows what the camp is like all this stuff. And then she's fighting a killer like Pajija. I think I ultimately still picked Mexican from what I remember, but um, yeah, Pajija just proves despite that, despite the ring rush, despite all that stuff, Mexican did Mexican didn't look bad out there. It's not like she beat a bad version of Mexican, you know, um, so I think it's still a pretty big accomplishment there for Pajija. Uh, Anonymous says Pajija was on a Thai national boxing team uh, and almost qualified for Olympics. She is 100% in her element in kickboxing. But when's the last time she did have to fight in that rule set, you know, yeah. or, or anything close to that? She's been uh, like, it's the same thing with Superbon. You know, Superbon used to be a Muay Thai fighter. He goes to kickboxing for so long. 
how is he gonna how is he gonna come back to Muay Thai? Like it's just it's different. Even if they've done it before, it is different, especially against the GOAT. You know, it's like it's a tough fight for Pajija too. But it's very good. Uh Blunderbub says, regardless of the outcome, it was nice to see Pajija fight someone she didn't immediately steamroll. That was my yeah. biggest question coming into this was what happens when the person doesn't fade away to the onslaught that Pajija brings? What is she gonna do? And she stuck with it well. She did a yeah, good job. She, I mean, the answer is clearly she adjusts. She listened to her corner. I mean, I obviously I don't know what her corner was saying, but I would imagine <laughs> well, that her corner speak. was telling her. Nope, don't no 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 not, not a word. Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean the 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 amount of adjustments was super impressive. Like being able to like yeah. go from like just trying to bum rush to like being able to move angles. Like the amount of angles she cut was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the like you said, the angles, the head movement. The I mean, just her defense was very good. Anonymous says Pajita's uh, last boxing match was exactly a year ago, third round TKO. Pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. Um, but yeah, I mean, and you could see some things that she was uncomfortable with, you know, like some of the clinch work, she kept getting warned for, for a lot, she got a lot and, of warnings, <laughs> a lot of warnings. I mean, it's just, he it's said, hard. that's my last warning. I think three times. Yeah. Shout out last one. It's a stern warning. Uh, yeah. but yeah, very good win for Pajija. She looked very good. Mexican. I, I don't know what's next for Mexican because they've already had the contract drama, things like that. And now she's a fight out of a title shot. I, I just don't know what they're going to do with her. I don't know what they're going to do with Janet Todd. I guess we'll do Janet Todd versus Pajija. When? I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know. Uh, but we can move on. That's pretty much all I had. Uh, I know what the UFC one. would do. <laughs> yeah, the UFC would give her some killer, some unranked killer to send no, her on they'd her probably, way. <laughs> they'd probably send her on her way and be like, see, we told you she, told you she was never that great. That's yeah, the UFC's exactly. MO for sure. Look, she just didn't want to fight that whole time, the whole yeah. uh, the whole year. Anonymous says, I'm just happy Mexican didn't get KO'd. She did what Pajija's opponents couldn't do, survive. Yeah, exactly. She, I mean, she look, it's she, I thought she clearly lost um three rounds to two for Pajija, but it's not like at any point she looked outmatched. Like she got wobbled a little bit once, um, but like that's pretty damn good against someone who hits that hard in Pajija. Yeah. So like I don't think her stock goes down whatsoever. It's any, if anything, it's just Petjija proved that she's like legit, legit. Because I've seen some people say like, "Yeah, she looks good, but who's she beating? Who are these girls she's beating?" Well, she just beat the women's goat. So it's it's sort of like Islam. It's like who who has he beat? Whoever signs the contract, it's not their yeah. fault. Like, yeah, what exactly. do you want them to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another one like uh, another another one similar to that that we'll talk about uh, later on, but. Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.